With those numbers in mind, one of the biggest focuses statewide is the push to reopen schools. In the capital city, officials have a new plan that highlights choices and peace of mind. Jackson Public Schools unveiled their plan to reopen today. And 12 News' Gerald Harris is live at JPS headquarters. And Gerald, I understand choice is the key word. Yeah, that's right. The JPS plan is both detailed and offers some flexibility for families. So what's the first thing that you see on the outside? With the new school year just weeks away, preparation to open up schools during a pandemic has been outlined. We feel the options outlined in this plan will help our parents and guardians make informed decisions as they register their scholars. Parents will have choices for their students depending on the child's grade level. For elementary and middle school students, parents will choose between traditional or virtual instruction. For high schoolers, the choice is between hybrid learning or virtual instruction. The hybrid model would include or does include an A-day, B-day rotating schedule. On A-days, 9th and 10th graders will learn core subjects, while 11th and 12th graders will learn electives, and this will rotate with the days. Our plan is 100% um, of what we know today and what we're prepared to do today. As we know more tomorrow and next week, and even up until and, and after the start of school, we are committed to making adjustments as appropriate. There will also be temperature checks, mandatory face covering, social distancing, and daily deep cleaning, among other safety measures. Now, schools will not allow visitors in the backup plan if a school has to shut down or the entire district has to shut down. Everyone will learn virtually. We have more details on the reopening of JPS on our website. That's WJTV.com. Reporting in downtown Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News.